Hey guys, welcome back. As I have previously mentioned in my flu preventative video, I want to do a video uh, and a comparison test between something like this, um, labeled as a synthetic multivitamin versus something like this that is labeled organic and bio bioavailable. And uh, here we are, so let's do this test. At the end of this video, I will uh, post some pictures of the nutrition labels and which ones are the most and least in which amount of vitamins. So that will be at the end of the video. The test today, I wanted to do it in warm water, uh, which is the body temperature. Um, then I want to do vinegar and hydrogen peroxide. So we will do those three tests for today. Obviously, before we do those tests, uh, disclaimer that I bought all of these with my own money and uh, this is something that I want to do. I want to see how these react for my own knowledge and I wanted to share this information with you. So if you wanted to see, um, keep watching the video and we will see how they react. I wanted to see how uh, they open up, what colors they change to, what uh, they look like in the substance and technically what they look like inside of us. Since we swallow them all the time, yet we have no idea how, what, uh, how they react with our body. I have them arranged from supposed most synthetic and cheapest to the most expensive one here and supposedly the most organic and bioavailable. Obviously ones that we are missing are uh, Garden Life Vitamin Code, which I have my, vitam uh, my wife's. Um, we will also put that into the test, although that's kind of on the side since it's a women's multivitamin, but it should be pretty similar. That one is even more expensive. It would be right here if it was the men's multivitamin. Then you have um, Equate and Kirkland, which they both sell versions of this except with their own uh, name brand. And uh, there's also ones where you can take uh, three times, uh, the three, three pills a day, which has organics, Dr. X, Neutralite by Amway, and many others. And if you take any of those and you like them, you wanted me to do a test on them, uh, feel free to comment below and we see what we can do with that. Now let's take a close up look of all the uh, pills, what they look like. There they are, as you can see, and then towards this end, we get to the biggest ones and this new chapter is the biggest one and mega food is the one that is recommended by health ranger so we will see how they all do in the test first one we will do is the water test and it's going to be body temperature at 99 degrees fahrenheit or 37 degrees celsius so let's do that one so let's put them in and see how they react i will time this for 10 minutes So there you have 10 minutes. Let's zoom in and see how they are doing. As you can see, the first one to dissolve was the one a day. The second one, the fastest, was the Centrum. The third was the, uh, the Rainbow. The two vegetable um, tablets still haven't dissolved. And these two are also taking forever. So after another half an hour about, this is what they look like. The hardest ones to dissolve were these two right here, the mega food and the new chapter. I had to use a spoon to try to break them down and dissolve them. And also the Jameson, that one was pretty tough. And these two and that one, or the compacted one. The ones with the vegetable capsules have some sort of bubbles. So as you can see, we go the most expensive is the darkest and it smells the nastiest and it smells a lot like mushrooms. And uh, these ones are pretty similar looking, the Jameson and the Centrum, more or less on the orange side. 
Then we have the mega food, which is orange. Now here's a close up of them all again. Here are the results of the vinegar test. These first uh, three reacted by fizzing, and this one was all bubbly and weird. And the other ones reacted more or less normal as for water. And here you can hear. Not really so anymore, but here's what it looks like with vinegar. Still kind of here. That Jameson you can definitely hear. And this Weber. Look at that. Definitely weird looking. The rainbow, the Naturello, the Mega, taking forever to dissolve. And last but not least, the new chapter, and I didn't have any more of the card on life. This one takes the longest to dissolve. So here's 20 minutes later with the peroxide and obviously these three reacted by fizzing. This one was kind of bubbly but didn't fizz and the rainbow light also lightly fizzed. And this one is kind of bubbly too. I'm guessing it's because of the vegetable tablets. Let's see. Zoom in on them. This one a day is the one that fizzed the most, as you can see. And then this one a second most, the Jameson. Here's your Weber, the rainbow dissolved pretty quickly, I'm satisfied with how that one dissolved. Here's the, actually the Naturello, it's also fizzing actually a lot now that I've broken up the tablet. Here's the Mega, and these last two take forever to dissolve. Even with a spoon, break them down, it's pretty hard and impossible to break them. They don't want to break. And this one, I'm surprised, this is the one that I take. Now that I've broken it up, it's fizzing quite a lot. Interesting. So there you have it, the peroxide test. So there's the test for you. The one that I'm currently taking is Naturello and it is the one that is actually fizzing the most. Should I be concerned? Should I not be? I don't know, I'm not a scientist. Maybe some of you 
down below can tell me why it reacted so much to the peroxide. Um, the stuff that I do pr prefer uh, being on the organic non-GMO side is these products right here, the Rainbow and the Natural, the Omega, the New Chapter, and the Garden of Life. I've taken Garden of Life a lot. My wife has. We've tried this Naturello. We're trying now also uh, the Rainbow Light. Um, what I can see is the vegetable capsules react differently. So if you guys have any insights onto these reactions and what you guys think about them, maybe somebody has more scientific biological background can explain it more and uh, the chemistry side of it. Um, there's my take on it. If you guys want me to do any other tests, feel free to thumbs up, share this video, like it, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.